All right, my last stop of the day. I'm at Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Let's go in and see what they got. Well, the first thing that catches my eye is that green stretchy Bakelite bracelet. Of course, I cannot see what the tag says. <laughs> oh, wait, there's another crazy one up there. What's the tag say on that? Of course, I can't tell either. And that actually is a Bakelite reversed carved fish bangle. That's $80. Wow, okay, I think I'm actually gonna get in here. There's too much going on not to. Um, the reverse carved are really, really, really expensive. See that says 80 bucks. I don't think it said firm, so I think they'll actually give me 10%, which makes it 72, which is still a lot of money, but I think I'm going to look in here anyway, because I see a lot I like, especially that faceted one. Yeah, this is so good. Never see the reverse carved. All right, we all know how I love this booth. Uh, I did end up getting the reversed carved. It was $72 after the discount. I couldn't resist. Oh my gosh. I just feel like with the fish and the reverse carving, it would be silly not to get it. I mean, they sell for like hundreds. And the other two I got for 20 bucks. The green stretchy one, unfortunately, was a little close at um, 70 some bucks. I love the red polka dot. Look at these cool fish. Are those Blanco? Pilgrim glass, $36 for the pair. Those are neat. They're definitely bookends. They're hefty, guys. Oh my gosh, look at these little rabbit salt and pepper shakers. How cute. Unfortunately, I'm now seeing the reason they're $10 is because one's repaired. Whoa. Napco wear. St. Patrick's Day couple, $10? Well, that's a steal. These are kind of hard to find. It's a really good buy. St. Patrick's Day stuff is super collectible. Um, you know, that and Halloween and Valentine's Day. It's so good. All the holidays, really, but especially that Made in Japan stuff. I decided to go out of order and come sneak over here. And, ooh, $4 pink metal enamel flower brooch. It's got a little bit of wear, but for four bucks. I love that color. I'll take that. Look at these crazy perfume bottles. Oh, they're full of liquid. I don't want to touch that. And there's another big metal enamel. I took a little bit of break, a little bit of a break from selling these just because I kind of got burnt out, but especially with spring coming, there's no better time except for the fact that I can't get the dang thing off. Hold on. This is a two-hander. Yep. Four bucks. I'll take that. And now look at these cupies. I know you guys saw these in the background. Those are adorable. They're left in too. Piano Baby, the KW, $4 each. I think we'll be taking all of them. Can't believe that. The prices here are so good. You just have to be lucky enough to be here uh, first. <laughs> and then the paper mache rabbits, 18 19 yeah i think i'll leave those oh you guys know i love this vendor so good you never know what you're gonna find in here like this pink opalescent hobnail e-pern that is gorgeous what's this weird hippo thing iridescent pig oh that got me before i almost picked that up that's funny it looked like a hippo from that angle look at this this imperial Slack glass bell. Glass bells don't usually do that well for me. If it was a little bit less, I'd pick it up. And I really like this orange vase. That's at 17. That's not bad. Japanese. What about the blue one? 17 again. Ooh, amethyst moon and stars. You don't see that every day. I love him. He's probably very expensive. Actually, $50 is nowhere near how expensive I thought it was going to be. Oh my gosh, look at his eye. He needs love. I really wish I could justify rescuing for $50, but it's a little steep for me to uh, have him laying around. I would not want to sell that. I don't think I would have the heart. I think he would sit on my uh, um, seti with the rest of the gang. Blue cat. I don't think I have a blue glass cat. 
uh, I swore I saw a discount sign. Not that it's not. Yeah, 20% off entire booth and less marked firm. So for $6.40, I'll take that. I think we, we might have made the uh, count today. If, well, we're probably really, really close. Ah, yes, the golden pretzel. Whoa. Vintage flapper, Bathing Beauty Japan, $25 each. Oh, if I were keeping them, I wouldn't think twice. Um, that's a really good price for a collector. For resale, I could make a couple of bucks. Um, not as much as I'd like to spend, considering their faces aren't as defined as I normally gear towards for that price point. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, she's so fabulous. $30. She is gorgeous. All kinds of new stuff in this booth. Look at this little celluloid. Seven dollars and uh, the little bisque one. Oh, she's fun with her paper dress. Ten bucks, these aren't bad prices, but just being a little picky, she's fun too. Those are those are always so spendy when I see them. She's got a blank tag, so she might be spendy too. What in the world is this? Made in Italy, $25. Ugly plastic rabbit thing. I thought it was a rat. I love it. If it was less, I would totally grab that. Very bizarre. We like bizarre. Oh, wait a minute. This one's $7, but look at this one. Kind of like that. $20, though. It's a little bit spendy for me. For that, at least. For resale. You know the drill. Speaking of rats, here's a rat right now. How weird. Cat salt and pepper shakers. Unfortunately, at 18, I can't do anything with those. Potatoes and peanuts. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? Anthropomorphic chalkware teapots. Dude. They're spendy. But I I feel like they're worth every penny. They're $39 and 30% off for the pair. Oh my gosh. I can't leave those here. I just can't. There's no way. Just like having a moment right now. So I've only seen these one time ever and they were $45 and they weren't as in good condition. $39 minus three, so 35 for the pair. I actually am just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm paying up for them because they're so good. And I think I'll do well on them. I mean, chalkware with the paint, the Miller Studios with like, in this good condition, it's hard to come by. And this is a really coveted, hard to find design. I'm all in. Look at this angry green bird creamer. It's kind of fantastic. Looks German. Sevres. Oh, I guess it, I guess it's French. Nineteen dollars. Kind of love it. I know this is uh, made to look vintage, even though it's contemporary. But it's so fantastic. I love that clock. It's such a great color. Battery pack. This is so good. Oh, all right. Um, green squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. Bucks. So last time Susan and I were here, uh, we actually weren't allowed to go in shop in the booth because it wasn't technically open yet. So I'm excited to see what they got here. I love the cat set, but that's at 85. Oh, someone's coming my way. Sneak in here. Skunks. Oh my gosh. 1850. This one's so cute. The Napco, $18.50 again. This is a really pretty necklace. Six bucks. It's kind of fun. All right, let's check out over here. That's really fun too. The little Lucite. Looks like it's as is maybe. Plus it's got nickel in it. This is fantastic. Six bucks, it's so pretty. 
And here's a cat. Eight dollars. I'll take that. And then the zebra head salt and pepper shakers. Nineteen fifty. We'll spend on that. Down here is the lingerie set. Fourteen fifty. That's actually not a bad price. What's going on with ET? Twenty-two. All right. And then over here is the a lot of like love the slag glass. Thirty. Not bad. The face is pretty. This is kind of wild, isn't it? Huh. I feel like that's supposed to have a top, maybe. How could I ignore this? Oriental ceramic box dragon's pagoda. Well, that's incredibly cool. Wow. There's a hand-blown cat necklace. That's $16, so. Yeah, man, I really wish you could see the price on that. I'm gonna be pissed if it's expensive. I think it says as is even. Maybe not. Nope, I see it. It says ten dollars. I think I'm gonna grab it. And I circled back to this booth as well. I almost missed this napkin girl. Oh my gosh, she's fabulous. Twelve dollars and in great shape. I don't usually see this uh, version of it either. I'm definitely gonna grab that. She's fabulous. Well, that was a great deal. I spent $229 in there. And where it might seem like a lot, the least expensive Bakelite carved fish bangle right now is it like $400 or something. So uh, yeah, it's not gonna, I think I might do it as a buy it now, honestly. I don't really wanna sell something like that at a dollar. It's a pretty special, unique item. Um, like I said, they range anywhere from $3.95 to $600. So it was a really good buy. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs>